Hello and welcome to Magic AutoCAD. In this part of tutorial, we shall talk about the array command. Go under modify and you're going to see the array command. So let's get started. I'd like us to start with a circle. Then let's come somewhere here and we make a circle. Then now you go under modify, you drop down this array. Then you're gonna see the rectangular path and polar array. So let's start with the rectangular array. Then you select your object, enter. And then by default, you're gonna see this number of uh, column and number of rows. So come back up here, you're gonna see a ribbon created for adjusting off the array then the very first part here is the columns then here you're gonna see four default columns here you can see one two three four columns and what if you want and then you're gonna see three rows okay over here you see the number of rows three rows then now let's first of all talk about the columns what if you want to increase say the number of columns then just come in this box you type in let's say we have uh, eight columns you type in eight enter then you're gonna have one two three four five six seven eight columns here then now let's talk about the distance between the column by default here we have 2.914 between these two columns we have 2.94 and uh, 2.94 times the number here one two three four five six seven times seven spaces we have 20.3977 <clears throat> so now if you want to increase the distance between the columns you come here here we have 2.9 but let's type in four and see what we have four enter then you will see that the distance from the center to center here is four units and uh, the total distance from this center to this other center we have 28 because we multiply four times uh, this distance one two three four five six seven we're gonna have 28 then I think that is clear and uh, again another way which you can increase the number of columns is by editing okay so when you tuck here by the way let's first of all talk about the rules so the rules by default we have three units distance between the rules and we have uh, Sorry, we have three rows here and then we have 2.9 distance. So what if let's take six rows, type in six, enter. Then here we're gonna have two, four, six rows. <coughs> and the distance between this row is 2.914. Then now let's type in uh, a new distance of four, four, enter. Then here you will see that the distance now between these rows is four units and the total distance is 20 because the 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 rows the rows are five so if you multiply five by four you have 20 so you have here one two three four five so from here to here this center to the next center is four so if you multiply this four by five you're gonna have 20 being the total distance then now let's first of all talk about this grid grid array so in order to increase the number of the columns you can grid at this point and uh, sorry you grid and let go your cursor then you pull Okay, you pull as you pull the number will increase 
at the same distance and eh? you click at any point you want then again you can click as well to increase the number of rows you click and you pull upwards and you see the increase so you see it will just follow the increase until you click where you want them to go okay that's it as well you can reduce okay you can reduce you click and you pull it backward and you can reduce the same here you can reduce and click there then now in order to space to add the distance the distance between the column or the rules without going to the ribbon you can click at this initial grid you can click and let go your cursor and you pull so automatically the distances between the arrays will be increased and you click there you can do same here upward to adjust the rules and you click so initially we have our central point here our base point sorry we had our base point here and in order to change this base point you can come up here on the properties and uh, you click here on the base then now let's say let's change this base to another place to here then here you see that we have a new base here where you can as well continue to sorry edit your arrays okay so that is that i would like us to talk now about the levels here you're going to see that we have the levels here is one and the, the distance between the level is one and uh, the total distance is one because we have just one level so i like us to put it in let's say three levels three and uh, enter then now this level is you haven't seen any changes here so let's go to uh the home icon to go to 3d view then here you're gonna see that we have our three levels on the z axis then now let's change the distance between the level let's put it to 10 oh, sorry let's put it to 10 so that it will really be visible for you then let's orbit so you now see the levels okay because the levels are determined on the z axis so with that let's go back to the top view and uh, we delete sorry and in order to close this array you just come here and you close then here you're gonna see that automatically the array has been closed and now it's no more associated so you can select individually okay let's delete and go to the next array then let's make uh, a rectangle here and then we'll go to the circle and let's make a circle here then now let's talk about the polar array we click on the polar array then we have to select the object then this is the object i drew this circle just for more understanding okay so it's not compulsory select this object enter then you'll be asked now to select to specify the center point of array then you come to the center here and you click by default you're going to see this number of arrays then just like the rectangular array here you're going to see the number of items let's change them to 20 enter then here you're going to see 20 arrays and uh, the distance meanwhile the arrays are 20 the distance between these arrays are 18 okay the distance between the arrays 18 then 
the angle the fillet angle is 360 okay the complete polar is 360 then now let's change the distance between the arrays so now you see that we can only decrease the number we cannot increase okay because there is no way you can increase the distance between a poly array okay now let's bring it down to 15 enter then here you're going to see that the distance between these arrays have drastically reduced while leaving an an angle okay so while covering an angle of 2 285 okay so you're gonna see that it covers an angle of 285 meanwhile when it was the distance was 18 for a complete polar the angle was 360 that's a complete polar that's a complete circle and then now let's move to talk about the rules here you're gonna see that we have one rule okay I, I like us to go back let's go back to the number being 18 then now let's talk about the rows here we have one row okay you see one row what if we change it to let's say four rows enter then here we're gonna have four rows then now the distance between the rows the distance between the rows i would like us to put uh, four enter yeah so you're gonna see that we have four rows and the distance between these rows is four then just like uh, we learned in the order you can also have the levels okay here we have one level so if you change the, the levels then go to let's change the levels let's change let's give two levels two and uh, the distance between the level let's put 10 to see enter as well and then let's orbit now let's first of all go to the southwest view and uh, we orbit so here you're going to see that we have two levels okay then i'd like us to go back to the top view okay so we have something like this now let's talk about the rotation let's talk about the rotation now if you click on rotation you will see that these arrays have been twisted okay they have been twisted and then if you click again on rotation they go back to normal so just watch just watch here why i click here and you click it twist then when you click it goes back click twist then when you click it goes back so that is the function of the angle and then let's talk about base point the base point you can select another base point maybe in any of the rules okay let's select another base point here so you see how, how that is and you discover that when you select a base point in a different role then the arrays the the, the 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 items the objects are automatically twisted they are twisted away from they have a different direction from these initial ones okay so that is how the polar array works so now in order to close your array you come up here and you close so I like us to delete now I would like us to talk about the path array so let's quickly go to a rectangle I will make a rectangle here then let's go to the spline and we'll make a spline here Then now let's go to 
the array and we click on path array then we select the object enter then you select the path curve then here you're gonna have your arrays then let's come to our ribbon you're gonna see items you're gonna see your uh, between the distance between you we're gonna see rows and the distance between already we are familiar with these functions but now there's a problem here with this path array here you're gonna see that the total is unactivated and uh, the number of items is unactivated they are switch off only the distance between is activated so you can change the distance between these arrays here we have 4.7 but let's change it to to 5 enter so you're going to see that the, the distance have changed now what if you want to change the items the number of items maybe increase or reduce then you come over here on that properties then you're going to see measure then you drop down then you click on divide okay once you click on divide you're going to see that the number of items have been activated okay so you can now change number of tags let's put 20 mm -hmm. enter so you will see that the number have changed to 20 so you can do same you can do same to change the distance by clicking here and go to measure okay now and things like that so again you can also grip here because there is this grip function this grip fun function is just implemented in this new uh, editions of AutoCAD because in the older editions you will not see this grip function okay so you can grip as well sorry you can grip here and you reduce or you increase the number of your items so it all depends on you so the grip functions also work like that you can also as well make an alignment of these arrays by going on the properties and you click on align items okay so here you're gonna see that the items have been aligned then when you click on a line again you see that it comes back to the initial position so here you're gonna see that we have other functions like the associative the base point which you already know tangent and uh, you can only use these functions when they comes up where you apply this uh, array okay so you just discovered it yourself by using it and then associative here associative here is a uh, if you activate associative then you can close you can close the array and you see have the ability to edit okay to edit this uh, array because associative is Activated, but if you don't activate associative and you close your array, you can never okay, you can never edit your array. So that is that. I will leave you stay tuned, please. I will leave you with uh, uh, a practical example on a staircase. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in our next tutorial. From here, I would like us to go to array command under modify you're gonna see this array then click on path array then here you select this upper part then enter then you are going to ask to follow the path then we select this as our path then from here we are going to do our grip array okay so we come up here 
let me zoom so that you really see you come up here and you creep left click and let go your cursor and you pull then you see your steps following down okay so you count up to eight one two three four five six seven eight plus the initial one okay then you click and let's go to the part array then you select this member enter then you select this same path okay so you're gonna see something of this nature or uh, they are very much but don't worry you come here let's use the grip let's use the grip okay let's you grip array you grip here come here you grip here you click and sorry make sure it grips and you click then you move it at the next midpoint and you click